All right, if you're having this uh, detection verification missing driver, so you can see the driver for this device are not installed, then most likely you just have to go to your manufacturer's website, in this case, HP, okay? And then for here, you have this, you would go there, you would go to support, you would go to su software and drivers. Um, in here, um, we would go laptop, Okay, we have this, so it's 15-0053CL, um, I believe. Okay, so let's see, here you go. Oh, it's uh, 15-CS-0053CL. So I actually made a little tab up here already. Okay, and the way you get that is actually on the bottom of the laptop. It's like in this tiny unreadable print here, but yeah. All right, anyways, <clears throat> let's go ahead and look at this. So you want to, oops, I should have left that website open. Um, let me go to that again so you can see the whole process, support, okay, drivers. Okay, laptop, and 15-CS0053CL. All right, and where is it? This is the wrong one. There you go. Okay, and then it brings you to this window, Windows 10. I'm going to select just Windows 10 64-bit because that's what we got. I'm going to submit. All right, I believe it's an audio driver. So we'll install that, and hopefully that will work. I don't want it to detect things. I'm going to do it manually. So we're going to go in here. And there's all these different drivers here, so I don't know which one is which, but we're going to try this one, which is May 14, 2020, because that's the latest. And no thanks, I will download and install manually. So we're going to save that. I'm saving it to the desktop. <clears throat> I don't know why this thing is having some weird issue with the internet. It's kind of going slow. So I'm going to try also reinstalling the wireless driver from here so let's see here so we'll go in here download more drivers <clears throat> okay and HP's new website's very stupid and annoying because it does all this I don't want it to auto do stuff because it doesn't do things right so let's see driver network Intel land driver so if we go to our device manager here let's see what network we have right now so this is a real tech um, yep AC so we're gonna go to real tech wireless LAN drivers here we're just gonna download this one download manually as well and we'll let that also download okay for some reason it did oh there we go okay and we'll save that one as well Okay, I don't know why it doesn't just go back to the other menu. We have to manually, like, keep selecting um, the operating system. <clears throat> this is a very annoying new update. I don't know why HP keeps changing their website to be more and more, like, dumb. But <laughs> here we go. All right, sometimes also the chipset driver will be um, needed. But let's see here. What else? software da, da, da. okay we don't need any of that so we're gonna go to the chipset driver as well and let's see Intel chipset ice lake I don't know why they don't just say like um, generation of Intel because who knows what those are so they have Intel chipset install utility um, we're gonna try this one and let's see and hopefully we have the right processor because this is an 8th gen i5 but uh yeah okay one of them finished I'm not sure which one most likely okay the, let's go ahead and run it two of the drivers finished and one is still going so this is the wireless driver so let's run that I accept next next Okay, we'll let it install. Let's see if the wireless stops working. If it does, then that means, okay, there we go. So it should be installing the new driver. And it 
just giving that. Okay. And is it gonna reconnect on its own? Okay, it's connected again. Let's see if it actually installed a new wireless driver. We can tell because if we go in here, driver, it has rollback. So okay, I think we should be good with that. Let's see, is this did it stop? Okay, so we need to tell it to resume the download. And is it any faster? Okay, it's going faster now. You see that? So it's going to take about four or five minutes. And hopefully it's okay now. I'm going to try running a speed test. Let's see. It is okay. It's loading this faster than before. It's still a bit slow for what I would think. But it's faster than before. See, I don't know why the ping is so slow. This is weird. Yeah, my internet should be way faster than this, but... Alright, and I don't know why it's showing a thousand something up here, but it's only showing 13 down here. Yeah, that's weird. Anyways, we'll close that. Wait till that finishes. We can go ahead and do the chipset driver. Okay, so I'm going to run the Intel chipset driver as well, except go install that. And hopefully it's going to keep downloading without any issues. Two minutes left. <clears throat> it's definitely downloading a lot faster than before. And this is still running the chipset driver downloads or install. Maybe this. Hopefully, this is the audio driver that's missing. Okay. How much longer? About a minute left. Okay. The chipset driver is still going. I don't know why it has this window, but nothing's there. So it's hiding whatever scripts it's running. We'll know if drivers update if this window refreshes. Let's see. Hmm. Is it doing anything? Come on. Um, also, these things you want to be patient. Don't just like close it. So wait for it. Let it do its thing. It might take a while. So we're just gonna let it keep going. Download is almost done. 16 seconds. Come on. 8 seconds. Alright. Download is done. Let's close that. Let's run that one. The other one's still going, so let's install now the audio driver. Accept, next, next. And let's see if that detection verification thing goes away. The installer disappeared. Oh, and there you go. The detection verification is gone. So if that's what you're trying to get rid of, install the audio driver and you should be good to go. All right, I'm gonna run check for updates one more time, but that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. If you can't help out that way, it would help a lot if you could watch a few of my other videos and then like and comment on those as well. And it would help me a lot if um, if you like my uh, review type videos. I have another channel I'm creating. Uh, hopefully uh, you guys can um, go over there and subscribe to that channel as well. I need 500 subscribers at least and I think it's at like 330 something. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.